At the end of this lesson, student will be able to understand and explain about the concept of lightning conductor. Explain about the working principle and construction of Van de Graaff generator. Let us consider two conducting spheres A and B of radii R1 and R2 respectively connected to each other by a conducting wire. Let R1 be greater than R2. A charge given to the system is distributed as Q1 and Q2 on the surface of the spheres A and B. Let sigma 1, sigma 2 be the charge densities on the sphere A and B. The potential at A, V is equal to Q1 by 4 pi epsilon naught R1. The potential at B, V is equal to Q2 by 4 pi epsilon naught R2. We know that the charge on the spheres are Q1 is equal to 4 pi R1 square sigma 1 and Q2 is equal to 4 pi R2 square sigma 2. Since they are connected, their potentials are equal. So, Q1 by 4 pi epsilon naught R1 is equal to Q2 by 4 pi epsilon naught R2. Hence, we get R1 sigma 1 is equal to R2 sigma 2. That is, sigma R is a constant. From the above equation, it is seen that smaller the radius, larger is the charge density. In case of conductor, shaped as in the image of the distribution of charges is not uniform, the charges accumulate to a maximum at the pointed end where the curvature is maximum or the radius is minimum. It is found experimentally that a charged conductor with sharp points on its surface loses its charge rapidly. The reason is that the air molecules which come in contact with the sharp points become ionized. The positive ions are repelled and the negative ions are attracted by the sharp points and the charge in them is therefore reduced. Thus, the leakage of electric charges from the sharp points on the charged conductor is known as the action of points or corona discharge. This principle is made use of in the electrostatic machines such as Van de Graaff generator for collecting charges and in lightning arresters. In an electrostatic machine which produces large electrostatic potential difference of the order of 10 to the power 7 volts. The working of Van de Graaff generator is based on the principle of electrostatic induction and action points. A hollow metallic sphere A is mounted on insulating pillars. A pulley B is mounted at the center of the sphere and another pulley C is mounted near the bottom. A belt made of silk moves over the pulleys. The pulley C is driven continuously by an electric motor. Two comb-shaped conductors D and E having number of needles are mounted near the pulleys. The comb D is maintained at a positive potential of the order of 10 to the power 4 volt by a power supply. The upper comb E is connected to the inner side of the hollow metal sphere. As a result of the high electric field near the comb D, the air gets ionized due to action of points. The negative charges in air move towards the needles and positive charge are rippled on towards the belt. These positive charges stick to the belt, moves up and reaches near the comb E. As a result of electrostatic induction, the comb E acquires negative charge and the sphere acquires positive charge. The positive charge acquired is distributed on the outer surface of the sphere. The high electric field at the comb E ionizes the air. Hence, negative charges are rippled to the belt, neutralizes the positive charge on the belt before the belt passes over the pulley. Hence, the descending belt will be left uncharged. Thus, the machine continuously transfers the positive charge to the sphere. As a result, the potential of the sphere keeps increasing till it attains a limiting value or maximum. 
After this stage, no more charge can be placed on the sphere. It starts leaking to the surrounding due to ionization of the air. The leakage of charge from the sphere can be reduced by enclosing it in a gas-filled steel chamber at a very high pressure. The high voltage produced in this generator can be used to accelerate positive ions, protons, deutrons, for the purpose of nuclear disintegration. This module consists of five multiple